This is my electric fire boat or pop pop boat or whatever you want to call it. Uh, instead of converting fire to mechanical motion, this one creates electrical energy and runs a propeller back here. And let's see, what else would you want to know? The fire goes in here and the aluminum gets hot. And what I've done is uh, the white stuff is heat sink compound and that's on a Peltier device. The cold side of the Peltier device is facing down towards the boat and the hot side is up towards the aluminum. And what I do is I stick this down here like this and you could secure this permanently. I don't have it. It's just basically by the adhesion, the stickiness of the heat sink compound. And when I put the fire in there it's going to heat up the aluminum, the heat's going to travel down the side, uh, the heat will go through the Peltier device into the water below and that will create electricity which will drive the electric motor. Now let me warn you that I'm going to use a little small oil lamp. You don't want to use anything flammable like alcohol, lighter fluid, anything like that because this chamber gets really hot and the fire will run away. That won't be a good thing. That'd be very dangerous. So the uh, first time I used a candle, candle works well, paraffin, uh, heavy oil, something like that that won't uh, start boiling away is the best fuel. This is the little burner I'm going to use. Here's just a piece of cotton string sticking up. This is a filler hole and it leaks a bit, but uh, I'm just using regular oil in there. And that's it for my burner. On this side I have a clip and the clip is just there to hold the wires away from the aluminum because it gets hot. Takes it up here to the electric motor. It's uh, soldered to the electric motor and the propeller is set up to, to push. And yeah, I think there we have it. Let's go test it. Okay, you can see the burner is in there operating. I gotta get it in the water. I don't want to overheat the Peltier device. It's gonna take a little while to come to temperature. And as you can see, it's uh, coming up to speed. As it heats up, it's going a little faster, a little faster. I could stick two or three Peltier devices underneath there. Um, but I've only got one for this experiment right now. And it'll run as long as uh, the oil in the burner lasts. While we're looking at this, I should mention that the Peltier device typically has a maximum temperature somewhere between 50 and 100 degrees centigrade. 100 degrees centigrade is the boiling temperature of water. And therefore, you don't really want to run this outside of the water. It'll overheat. And in fact, this may overheat as it is. I was thinking about putting a water pan below the uh, aluminum, between the aluminum and the the burner, sorry, between the aluminum and the Peltier device. However, that would take a lot longer to heat up and get going. 
it'll get going pretty fast even in this limited space gotta keep away from the walls I could of course put a uh, a water driven propeller on it rather than an air driven type propeller and if I added a couple more Peltier devices underneath the aluminum there's space for at least one more maybe another one a third one rather uh, I could get a lot more power out of it drive a bigger motor uh, make this whole thing run faster but as you can see it clips along pretty well as it is Okay, well that was it for today. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your pop-pop boat experimentation.